یا نبی به حق مولانا شانک شبند یا الله و یا الله و یا الله یا ربی یا عفو یا رحمن و یا رحیم اصدوک اللهم به حرمتی حد اسمهی و آیاتهی و کلمت سلطان النثیر و رزق قثیر و قلبا قریر و قبرا منیر و حسابا یسیر یا ربی و اجرا کبیر وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وسلم تسليما كثيرا يا رب اكسب فرما اس over 300 قربانز and by those قربانز under the names of our shaykhs under the names of our ahl al-bayt under the names of ashab al-nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم that these قربانز to be accepted ya rabbi and grant us a ransom free us from the difficulties of shaitan our shortcomings and our wrong doings for all those who gave their qurban, take away their difficulties, Ya Rabbi, and replace it with the ishq and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Grant us this barakah, grant us this immense, immense blessing, over 600 wells, over 300 qurbans, over four different vans distributing foods, Ya Rabbi. Write all of that blessing upon ourselves, our family and our community. By means of these blessings, Ya Rabbi, take away every type of difficulty and then grant us from your rida and satisfaction. That write for us, Ya Rabbi, ajran kabir, that grant us immense deeds, immense opportunities so that you can grant the reward for us, Ya Rabbi, Arsh al Adheem, for the sake of our love for Sayyidina Muhammad Ya Raufun Ya Raheem, Bi Haqq Nabi al Kareem. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. The grant from us awlad al-Saliheen and that can inherit our way, Ya Rabbil Arsh al-Nadheem. Alhamdulillah that fa'awzu billahi min ash-shaitani r-radeem, bismillahi r-Rahman r-Raheem, wa atiullah atiya Rasul ulul amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajis al daifu, miskeen of zalim al jahal. And but we exist in the grace of Allah and that we have no power except in Allah Even when we go for our salah that it's not our cleverness. When they say, Hayya la salah wa hayyala fala come to prayer and come to success. We have no ability to pray and we have no ability to succeed. And our reply is, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah, that only you have the power and you're the only one who can help Ya Rabb. If you send a help and a power then I can pray. If you send a help and a power then I can be successful in your way. Those whom you don't grant a help and a power they can do nothing. You can talk all you want but they can do nothing. They may look like they have power and success but in the way of shaitan, to have power and success in the way of Rahman that every action is rewarding and pleasing by Allah can only be granted by Allah That He wants and He writes, I want them to be destined for that, ajra. I want them to get this reward and I send it to them. It's coming to them not from their cleverness, the rizq, the ajr, the action that you're about to do of a great deed, it's not from our cleverness, it's a gift and a reward from Allah I could have given that gift to anyone, I want it to be written for you. I want you to be dressed by that and as a result I want that because I know that your love for Sayyidina Muhammad 
And these are the medallions that dress the soul and allow the servant to draw near to the presence of Prophet That when we admit that we're overcome by negativity, depression, sadness and inability, the Ya Rabbi send me a power, send me a support and a help so that I can draw near to Prophet and that only through my actions and my deeds that you're pleased with and make me to become more of a truthful servant, that character, those deeds are what draws the souls of people near to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and becomes an infinite fountain of blessings. That how many people gathered, inspired, taught and was trusted and 300 qurbans were sent to them. 300 qurbans will be sacrificed tomorrow under the name of our du'as, our shaykhs, our love, our belief. It took effort for people to love you, to trust you, to follow you and this is the benefit and this is the reward. This is the ajr from Allah and shows His rida and satisfaction. They could have given to any Wahhabi organization but Allah took it from them, took their hearts from them, said, follow Him, give to them because they're going to read over the names of their shaykhs upon that. Means Abdullah Faizi Daghestani, Sultan al Awliya, Sultan al Shaykh Muhammad Nazim, Haqqani, Ma'ana al Shaykh Hisham, Kabani, Shaykh Adnan, Kabani, Shaykh Muhammad Adil, Abdul Khaliq al Khujdawani, Sahib Zaman Sayyidina Muhammad al Mahdi, alayhi salam, Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa, alayhi salam, Sayyidullah Sayyidina Ali, salam, Thumma Sayyidina Abu Bakr al Siddiq, Sayyidina Umar Uthman Ali, Imam al Hassan, alayhi salam, Imam al Husayn, alayhi salam, Wa Sayyidatina Fatima, alayhi salam. Those are the du'as from those who follow us, who love us, believed in us and now 300 Qur'ans will be in those names. And their rida and satisfaction means they go to Allah and say, send them more. That this dressing and this blessing can come to them. Over 600 wells are distributing water right now with those names, those shaykhs, their fires, their nazar and every drip and every drop that is drank is a shifa for the people whom are drinking it because any sustenance, water or food given to you by a generous servant of Allah every drop of it has 300 angels. So these are 600 now fountains of shifa distributing water and every drop that they drink Allah grants us a reward in ajr that you inspired them. The servant who bought it, sponsoring it is being dressed, jariya is a compounded return, compounded dividend from Allah that continuously sending barakah upon them, their families, their children and many names the wells and the names of their children knowing that the ajr and the, the reward of their kids they're not doing anything to get any rewards. And smart families instead of giving cash to children should be planting these types of deeds for their kids. So I don't know what you're going to do if I give you this money. But I know what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and buy these wells and put them in your name. I'm going to make a donation in your name and that this ajr and this reward because my faith knows it's going to dress you and bless you and it may even change you. It was association of awliyaullah and they were having a zikr and there was the shaykh had a child who was not well, was doing all sorts of crazy things. And in one gathering he told them, everybody come, I said, what? We have to collect $20,000 right now. And they all put into the bucket, 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 bucket. He took this and he gave to his kid, 
And the people were sitting and said, what the heck was that? We know that that kid is like all over the place doing all sorts of crazy things. She gathered from us all this and gave to him. Days later something happened, went and all of a sudden this person came back like Adam, like perfected, strange. And then the shaykh gave a talk that we saw that this person was going to be spending this much in the way of bad things and at that point it would finish and Allah would change the heart of that servant, everything written. And saw that it was written that they would be doing bad only for so much and then Allah would reverse it at that number, that person's life would change. And the hikmah of only Allah is saw it and said, I'm going to bring it faster. If that's the amount, I'm going to bring it faster, gave it, finished and immediately he reached what was written and the ajr and the reward of that person's life changed. We're not dealing with dunya. When you're dealing with awliya and those who've been trained by awliya Allah, we don't know why we're being inspired and what that inspiration and what that deed will take away of difficulties and hardships. Difficulties that your mind, your words and your continuous focus not going to resolve it unless Allah resolves it. And only through the good deeds and these, these rewards, Ajahn Kabir where we're making du'a that Allah grant us these immense rewards. One, you get directly from your activity, you invest in your heaven and in your akhirah. And you put all that aside for your akhirah and that akhirah to dress them. And then Allah begin to make you a custodian of that reality. Means that's the immensity that we're asking. That all the others whom they go do whatever they want to do, but look what Allah granted to this community. Don't think it's all. Don't think every shaykh you go is the same. The, the people came and said, oh that we play salawats. They thought every shaykh plays salawats. Not everything vanilla. Every shaykh has a unique way of approaching Allah and no two are the same. And what Allah gave to one as a way of reaching people, blessing people, dressing people is not two and not comparable. So when you look at the the ajr of this community and this SMC specific to this logo is where you see this, 600 wells this community made, 300 qurbans will be coming out tonight that take away difficulties from our families, from our communities, from everything that we all shared in that organization. Means that everyone is participating. In this and Allah Zawajalit al Kareem that if you share in a good deed, it will be shared to you. And if you invest in something bad, you'll take its portion of it. So it means the immensity of these blessings on this night when we're asking Ya Rabbi, imagine you're by yourself, say, Oh Ya Rabbi, my, my, my little action, will, will it be accepted? Then Allah Zawajal inspire you one day, no, expand it, make it to be something much more powerful. Then when you're asking Ya Rabbi for the sake of our 600 wells, for the sake of our 300 qurbans tonight, please grant us Ya Rabbi and Najat, please grant us a salvation, save myself, save my family and my children and my community for the sake of this reward and if you're pleased with us, double it by next year Ya Rabbi. So the Naqshbandiya through this farqa, through this way you see thousands of these things happening and dressing those whom are investing and participating with this community. And by means of it Allah to bless us, dress us and take every type of difficulty away versus those who are not doing anything and what they're praying for. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Shafat Ya Rasul Kareem. So we have a little bit of time before Maghrib.
Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi, you had mentioned that eight will be holding the throne and one will be the Sultan on the Day of Judgment. Mm. Forgive me for asking, but who will be the eight that will be holding <laughs> yeah, the throne? <laughs> yeah, inshaAllah. I would imagine to be very blessed individuals, blessed souls, inshaAllah. Blessed prophets, blessed angels, inshaAllah. But the main thing is the one sitting on the throne. Don't worry about who carries it, carries it or is a supporter of it. Most important is the one whom is upon the throne and that's Sayyidina Muhammad And that Allah sits upon the heart of that sultan. Means that we are stamped with eight and one, eight and one, one and eight as a reminder for us that be from the eight, live a life in which you support the one. The one, Allah But Allah how are you going to support Allah By the love and the support of Sayyidina Muhammad Because you want to follow the deen of Allah is what? Is the way of Prophet The satisfaction of Allah is what? Is the way of Prophet The ishq and muhabbat and good character, I want to have good character for Allah well then your character should be matching Sayyidina Muhammad He's the king. The king of akhlaq, khuluqul azim, the king of, of, of bounty and beauty, Rasulul Kareem. As a result our whole life is the one whom the eight, not that important for us to understand but our life to serve and be like the eight. When their identities are revealed and the archangels are known and if you study the, these four lataif of the heart and then the four points around the heart. It's all the throne of Allah If you get the book, the levels of the heart, that's a servant that wants to know about the house of Allah And these four points are like the throne and whom are bearing that reality and that knowledge. So the one whom sits upon the throne our life is to serve, our character, akhlaq to be like those whom are serving the throne. If they live a life like that they become sincere and Allah grant them sincerity. That sincerity is a dress of sainthood, that Allah's found rida and satisfaction in their character and blesses them and dresses them. And everywhere they go is a representation of this Muhammadan light that they were singing tonight, this very beautiful knot that is teaching these realities. That we're speaking realities that not from a book but then those whom should understand Urdu and even better are the ones whom don't understand Urdu and read it. Read the English translation for these knots and you find a confirmation of what the shaykh is teaching. Some people may say, is the shaykh just going to a hall and, and throwing out things? And then you read the knot because his job is to support the shaykh's teachings, to, re, to recite relevant recitations, not Abu Lahab but to recite relevant recitations. That I'm reciting these realities and then he's reciting them as a dalil for that overactive crazy mind that finds doubt in what a shaykh is teaching, you go read that and say, SubhanAllah, whatever he was saying is just already written this oh. kalam of awliya. Because there's their way of supporting, so we're supporting you. We wrote it anciently, teach it to them. And they should be like a people of tafakkur, not just reciting and not understand what you recited. Go back and read it slowly. You're the light of this, you're the light of that, you're the light of the Kaaba. You're the reason why Allah even sending anyone to the Kaaba. You're the, the, the reason for all of these blessings. And then when we go for our salah, those ayatul kareem should also be supporting what been taught. The qawfun alayhim yahtahzanoon is the ayat of awliya, the ayat of Kaaba, the ayat of, of realities because everything here is to support that one, to support the shaykh. The shaykh's life 
is to be in service to the one, means the whole system is based on that. We pray that Allah grant us and the jad a safety that this is the day of maghfirah, this is the day in which Allah accepted the forgiveness, the prayers and by means of the qurban was a ransom was given. That what you did not achieve Allah took those burdens and put upon the qurban and returned the servant to be pure and purified with the light and the immense blessings of Jabal Rahmah and what it symbolizes of all of Hajj. All of the hijrah and the lights and the blessings is on this mountain of mercy. We pray that Allah dress us, bless us and accept all our actions for ourselves, our family and the entire community. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzata man yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Shafati al Sul Kareem. InshaAllah we'll break for Maghrib and iftar to, to break the fast and after that we'll come back.